Your physician is concerned that the symptoms you or your child has may be caused by cystic fibrosis. Cystic fibrosis, referred to as CF, is an inherited disorder involving the lungs, intestines, and sweat glands. The main features of CF include progressive lung disease, failure of the pancreas to produce digestive enzymes, and excessive amounts of salt in the sweat. CF is an inherited disease present at birth. It is not caught, nor can a patient give it to someone else. Most people with CF are diagnosed in the first three years of life. However, some children do not develop symptoms until later in childhood or adolescence. The symptoms and severity of CF can vary greatly from person to person. Very few people, less than one in 3,000, have cystic fibrosis, but it is something that must be considered in patient evaluation. Most of the tests that we do show normal results. CF is diagnosed on the basis of symptoms along with a positive sweat test. The sweat test consists of measuring the amount of salt, specifically chloride, in sweat. Patients with CF have a normal amount of sweat, but the sodium and chloride content is high. The sweat test is used only to determine whether or not a child has CF. In general, it cannot be used to predict the severity of the disease. We will outline the steps involved in the sweat chloride test so you will understand how it will be done on you or your child. Patients can eat a normal diet on the day of the test. There are no needles involved in the procedure. First, the technician washes the patient's arm and applies a piece of gauze or gel disc containing pilocarpine to the forearm. Pilocarpine is a drug that stimulates sweating. Another piece of gauze or gel disc is placed on the patient's upper arm. Electrodes are placed over the gauze pads and a mild current is applied for five minutes. The current feels warm or tingling, but not like a shock. After five minutes, the electrodes are removed and the arm is washed and dried. A dry piece of gauze is placed on the forearm and covered with plastic or collecting coil apparatus is applied. Sweat is collected for 30 minutes. The entire process may be repeated on the other arm. After 30 minutes, the gauze or coil is removed and sent to the laboratory for chloride analysis. The risk to the patient for injury is remote. Less than 1% of patients may have a mild localized reaction. Occasionally, an adequate sweat sample for analysis cannot be obtained, and the test will need to be repeated on another day.